a quick video on how to transfer the Vivado hardware definition files and uh, SDK source code. So in our open Vivado project, go to File, Export, Export Hardware. Remember to include the bitstream. Okay. Over to over override if there is any. Uh, Vivado copied the H hardware definition file. HDF. Okay, we lower the Vivado. Uh, this is our Vivado project. All right. And the HDF file should be copied in .sdk. Here is the mm, test code folder that I prepared to copy the files. So we just copy the HDF file. Okay, we find the SDK project name that we created before. Source. And here is, here is our uh, hello world. Copy it over. And that's basically all what you need to transfer the project to a different machine. So on the different machine, let's say you just received these two files, the hardware definition file and the SDK code. Go to the Xilinx um, programs, Xilinx design tools. Scroll down to Xilinx SDK 2018. Okay, the um, view of the SDK uh, asks you where you want your uh, workspace. So we basically select this test code directory. Go for it. All right, create application project. That's all what we need. Okay, here we enter the project name. Let's say C mode A7 application one. And for hardware platform, go to new and browse for the hardware definition file, HDF. So we should have it in the test code directory. Here it is, that's our HDF file that we just um, exported from the Vivado. Open it up, finish. comes back for the setup for our application. So it already found out that we are in the um, microblaze environment. Everything else is correct. We just go finish. Uh, this is our new Vivado SDK project. All right. Okay, we can we go to the project name. That's how I call it. Source. Here is the default hello world code. Alt A, select, delete. We go what we had exported, the hello world from the original project, edit. I have it in the notepad here. Control A select, Control C copy. And in our project, Control V. There we go, everything is correct. Control S to save. We go to console. And that seems like it compiled. Just to make sure that everything runs correctly, you go to your version. OK. 
okay, and now our new version is, let's say, the 28th. Okay, control F again. Compilation seems cool. We select our project again, go to program the FPGA with the bitstream. That should be straightforward. All right, the bitstream is programmed into the hardware. Go to the uh, project name, right click, run as, launch on hardware, system debugger, okay. And it's running, so we can minimize SDK. Run the test software. It's find the COM port. COM11 is correct on my machine. Um, baud rate 115k open. The version. Test the version. And this is the new compiled version. Things seem okay. That's it for this one.